So Tasty started really as an experiment on Facebook. We did not set out to build this next great massive food network. In fact, we didn't hire food experts. Um, we hired, we had people, internal talent, who really just understood the social web. Um, and if you look, you'll see some of these videos, um, some of the earliest videos um, in Tasty's history. Um, this mango video is so simple, right? There's nothing novel about that video. In instant ramen hacks were not this like crazy new thing, but it was really rooted in the user. So we were never, it was never about our authority, right? It was never about us telling the user what we thought they should do. It was an obsession and a loyalty to the user. Um, and so as a result, in the last couple of years, we went from mango videos, right, to hack to a massive global food brand that has scaled across the world and um, that we've been able to extend to physical products and physical experiences. Um, and so we were quickly able, we were able to quickly do that because of our dedication to the user. We weren't obsessed with ourselves um, and, we weren't, um, and we weren't obsessed with the industry. It was all about the user. Um, and a good framework to think about that um, is to think about this concept of loyalty. So I'm sure you talked a lot about loyalty in your breakout sessions today. Um, and in the other keynotes. Um, the way we think about it, this is a quote from our CEO, Jonah Peretti, is in the past, consumers were loyal to brands. Um, but all of that started to change once consumers got the power. Re you know, everyone else had the power except for consumers. Now it's the era, golden era of consumers where they have all the choice and all the power. So how do we think about serving them as media companies, as retailers, as brands um, in that new environment? And Jonah's framework, which I really like because I think it really aligns with how Tasty thinks about the world, but also more broadly about how Buzzy thinks about the world, is you should expect consumers to be loyal to brands, but we must be loyal to consumers. Brands must be loyal to consumers. And so that authority has flipped. And as long as you understand that framework, um, and you make content with that framework, you make products with that framework, and you think about your pricing when you think about that framework, um, you should be able to adapt to a world where consumers have all the choice.